Jawaharlal Nehru was certainly known for being the extraordinary and pioneering first Prime Minister of India. Yet his portfolio in his first cabinet extended to cover the departments of external affairs, foreign ministry and scientific research as well. After a prominent role in the struggle for independence, both as a radical anti-colonial figure as well as as a diplomatic leader, he stepped into leading the enormous governmental vacuum left by the Raj. Nehru's contributions are vast. He was known as the architect of India, but he was also in many ways the contractor, the engineer and even the bricklayer of the foundations of the nation he helped liberate and build. Nehru's tenure was one of rapid reform in order to bring India forward from the dark days of empire into becoming a self-sufficient nation truly independent in all senses of the word. He focused on agrarian reform as well as industrializing India's immense suites of rural land. Nehru's capabilities as a diplomat also assisted India's economy during the Cold War as well. Still finding her feet after nearly two centuries of colonial rule, India continued to receive technical and financial support from both the Western world and Soviet bloc. In a radical break from the numbers during the period of colonial rule, India's GDP grew rapidly throughout the first Nehru ministry as India rapidly made progress within several industries. Yet it's important to note that the Nehru government had to build India's industrial base almost from scratch and it's those foundations that are carrying us forward today. Nehru established several tertiary educational institutes of great repute to this day, such as the All India Institute of Medical Sciences, the Indian Institutes of Technology, the Indian Institutes of Management, and the National Institute of Technology across the country. Nehru also refused to reorganize New India according to religious or caste lines, as several would have preferred. Instead, he divided states according to linguistic lines, rather than that of any creed, while promoting pan-Indianism instead of parochial regional pride. He was a true giant of independent India.